understanding gig job in English. Hello, wonderful learners. Today, we're diving deep into the world of modern employment by exploring the phrase gig job. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how and when to use it. Let's jump right in. Originally, the term gig referred to a performance by a musician or a band for a short period, like playing at a concert or event. Over time, its meaning evolved. In today's context, gig has come to mean a short-term job or task that someone does, often on a flexible schedule. A gig job refers to a type of work that is temporary and doesn't commit the worker to a long-term contract with an employer. Instead of having a stable, ongoing job with one employer, a person with a gig job might work several short-term tasks for different clients. Examples, a freelance graphic designer working on a project for a client for a month. A rideshare driver who chooses when and where to drive. A photographer hired to cover a single event. The gig economy is a term you might hear often in relation to gig jobs. The gig economy is a labor market characterized by the prevalence of short-term contracts or freelance work, rather than permanent jobs. With the rise of technology and platforms like ride-sharing apps and freelancing websites, more and more people are finding opportunities in gig jobs. Like everything, gig jobs have their advantages and disadvantages. Pros. Flexibility. Choose when and where to work. Diversity. Work on different tasks and projects. Independence. Be your own boss in many cases. Cons. Instability. Income might not be as consistent as a regular job. Lack of benefits. Many gig jobs don't offer health insurance, paid leave, etc. Competition. Many people are looking for gig jobs, making some fields saturated. That wraps up our exploration of gig job. Whether you're considering entering the gig economy or just curious about the term, we hope this video shed some light on the topic. Remember, language is ever evolving, and phrases like gig job show how our words adapt to societal changes. Keep learning, and until next time, happy studying.